Today I'm gonna to show you how to crochet the Cactus Cozy. This little knit look planter cover that I made using the waistcoat stitch. And I'll show you how to make it in this five inch diameter size, as well as how to adjust it for any size plant, even real ones. For this pattern, you're going to need some big stretchy yarn, like t-shirt yarn or what I used, this jumbo tube cotton from Ice Yarns, a 15 millimeter hook and a removable stitch marker. To begin, we'll make a magic ring. Start by going like you're gonna make a slip knot, but don't pull the loop tight. Leave it open and insert your hook into that loop. Then I like to chain one to kind of get it going. And the round one instructions are to make eight single crochets into the center of the ring. Then you can pull the tail to draw the magic ring closed, like magic. <laughs> and slip stitch to your first stitch to join in the round. Round two, make two single crochets into each stitch. and mark your first single crochet of the round with the removable stitch marker so you can work in a spiral from now on. Round three, remove the stitch marker and make two single crochets into the first stitch of the round. And place your stitch marker in the first stitch of the round again. Then into the next stitch, make one single crochet. Repeat two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch all the way around. Next, I'm going to check my circle with my plant pot. You can eyeball it or measure your pot at the widest point. And when your circle is as wide as the widest part of your pot, you're ready for the next phase of the pattern to start building up the sides of the cozy. And if you need to continue growing your circle past three rounds, I'll have instructions linked down below. For the next round, you'll work one single crochet in the back loop of each stitch. Be sure to still keep track of the beginning of your rounds with the marker. And by working into the back loops, our work will turn upwards so we can start building up the sides of the pot cover. To make your life easier, try to crochet this round loosely. You'll see why in a sec. it's time to actually start working the waistcoat stitch. We'll still be working in single crochet, but rather than working into this V-shaped stitch up here, we'll work into the center of the single crochet post. It also makes a V with these two little legs. 
and you'll insert your hook directly in between that V. And boy did I not crochet loosely enough. This is a very tight stitch. Still keeping track of your rounds with the marker, do your best to try to make a waistcoat stitch into each stitch of the round. Like I said, I made this round too tight for myself, so I'm gonna go struggle with this off camera and be right back. I made it around and it's gonna be easier from now on. You may need to flip your little bowl inside out. You'll want the front loop from when we did the back loop round on the outside. Now continue working in the waistcoat stitch around and around in a spiral. This little guy is tough, but worth it. It's just one of the most beautiful crochet stitches if you stick it out. And the thick woven texture is perfect for home decor, like this little plant cozy. I have a little tip for working the waistcoat stitch. When you've got two loops on your hook, the first one can be tight, but you want the second one to be loose. And when you've been going at it for a little while, you can try the pot cozy on your planter and see if it's tall enough to cover the pot or as tall as you'd like it to be. And then fastening off is easy. You'll just remove your marker for good this time and slip stitch into the center of the next post. And one more slip stitch in between the next two posts. Fasten off and weave in your ends. And there you have it. That's how you crochet the Cactus Cozy. Isn't the waistcoat stitch purdy? I hope you're inspired now to go cover everything in your house with crochet cozies. Check the description box below this video for a downloadable version of the pattern, list of materials, as well as all my social links. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.